Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic and this is your Love, Peace and Happiness Daily Tower Reading for March 6, 2017. So let's see what is the energies for us today. We have the Queen of Swords. And so with the Queen of Swords it's about using our intellect, our creative intellect, putting our ideas to work and also cutting through all the BS. Cutting through false ideas, cutting through false pretenses, um, and cutting through all of the illusions to find what is really true and to hold to our truths. We also have the death card here and the prince of swords. So I feel that for some of us, uh, some information we're learning today is going to have us cutting through some false facades and put us into action to bring some situation to a close and it's a very good thing because with the closing of this situation there's room for something that's more appropriate for what we're actually desiring in our life um, some of you may be having a dealing with an air sign but I feel that if any of these cards are pulling to a, a zodiac sign that you're dealing with the Scorpio energy is strong here with this death card i feel for somebody out there there's a scorpio person and you've been lo looking to cut through some um some stories and things like that and today you're going to make some progress with that something that they're going to say to you is going to be the definitive all conclusive yep i was right you're full of bs i'm finished with you and that's that's great also just in a general way like we want to hold ourselves according to our truths speak out our truths speak them out fearlessly um yet we don't want to be tactless in doing so we're in a great time of change right now things are transforming in our life and so some of your truths have changed and so some of us need to really just be open to communicate our new truths to the world around us and we need to also with this energy i'm um, getting be courageous in um speaking out to the universe exactly what you would like to see in your life and also there's admonition here again to watch what you're saying because you don't want to call out to the universe for things that will not please you so make sure that if you're talking about something that's either happening or you like to happen in your life you're speaking from a, I want this to happen not I don't want that to happen which is a common downfall for a lot of our brothers and sisters of humanity but it's something that can easily be reversed with a little bit of awareness and you and I being aware we want to make sure that we're setting that example to speak from the place of what pleases us rather than the place of what displeases us those are your messages I have for you today. Thank you so much for your support. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.